motion under gravity. Write down. Right? 
But if I throw it like that, then it will become a projectile motion. Are you getting it? So in this chapter, since we are talking about motion in 1D, we are going to discuss only these three kind of scenarios where you are vertically, uh, you know, throwing it up or throwing it vertically down or just dropping the object. Okay? Fine? Okay. Let's take up numerical, numerical directly. You have, you have, you have this, let's say, tower is there of height h. Okay? You are releasing an object from here. You need to find out time it will take to reach the ground. Okay? How much time will it take to reach the ground? Now, I should not, uh, like you will assume that g is given to you. I will not tell you that g is there and g is 9.8 all the time. Assume that when I say that there is a tower, tower will not be there in the air, it will be there on the earth only. Okay? It is like that, you need to find out when it will reach the ground. G is G. In terms of G and H, what are the answers? G as G. Don't substitute value for the G. And in terms of G. Root 2 is by G? How will you go root 2 is by G? Okay. Now how? What are the things which are given to you? Initial velocity is given or not? Zero. Acceleration is given? G. Now which direction I am assuming positive? Let's say downward is positive. So acceleration is G. Displacement is how much? Plus H. Because I am assuming downward to be positive. Okay. Now I have to find time. I have been given U, A and S. So which equation come in a while? S equal to U T plus half A T square. So S equal to U T plus half A T square when you write. You think S is H. This is equal to half G T square. Or T you will get it as root of 2 H by G. Understood? Okay. Any doubt? Yes. No doubts? Okay, next question. Alright, focus here. Now suppose it is thrown up with velocity u. Find out time it will take to come to the ground. Velocity u. Initial velocity is u. So, bring it up. So, v minus u by d. The hint is, you have to use s equal to u plus half a t square t. What? Time it takes to reach the ground. In terms of g and h. g and h. Just write down the equation. How much is a total displacement? H plus H plus the height it goes up. Are you sure? It goes like this. So total displacement is what? From this point to that point. Point one to two. This is your displacement. Displacement is what? Shortest distance between initial and final location. So S is H. If you are taking downward to be positive. So displacement, I am taking downward positive, so it is H. Initial velocity is what? Minus U. You are taking downward positive. Yes or no? Not. Acceleration is how much? G. You are taking downward positive. 
separated downwards are taken downward positive. Okay, so displacement is plus h because I am taking downward positive. If velocity is minus u naught and acceleration is g, you can reverse it also. You can take upward positive also. Now, once you write like this, the question becomes obvious. You have to use s equal to ut plus half at least. S is H, this is minus U naught T plus half G T square. Understood? And you will get a quadratic equation. G T square minus 2 U naught T minus 2 H equal to 0. T. Now you can find T. This is a quadratic equation. Minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac by 2a. You have heard about solving quad equation? Yes. What is the value of t now? Tell me. How will you get it? t will be equal to 2u naught plus minus under root of 4u naught square. This is the value of t. Okay. You have not seen this before. B square minus 4 is c. Determine it. See the right chart of formula. Yes or no? Yeah. The velocity which you have taken negative because downward is positive will become plus u naught now. That's the only difference in the question. 